And a group in Kenmore honored a World War II veteran tonight for his service to our country and to the community. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik takes us to the Kenmore Community Center to introduce us to Daniel Rydzinski as we celebrate Western New York tonight. Kelly? Adam and Mary Alice, tonight the Kenmore Village Improvement Society honored Daniel Rydzinski, a Buffalo native who has called Kenmore home for the past 15 years. Born in 1921, Daniel grew up in a large Buffalo family. Our good friend and fellow KVIS member, Danny Rydzinski, he grew up in Buffalo. Um, and did you know that he was the 11th of 12 children? And he had nine sisters. And two brothers. Four of the Rydzinskis, including Daniel, would serve in World War II. And who's this guy? That's me. <laughs> I thought that was a good picture. <laughs> see, 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 see this? That's, that's in the, when I was in the, in the war. Daniel joined the Army Air Forces during the war and trained as a bombardier in San Antonio, then went to Florida. Since it was close to the end of the war, he ended up not leaving the U.S. Daniel was married to the love of his life for more than 50 years and is a retired high school social studies teacher. He is also an accomplished violinist. He learned to play when he was 9 or 10. I could tell people if, if they hear a song, I'll go up and put it all on, it, on the... Oh, perfect pitch. So oh. you could just play it without any music. That's without right, any that's right. Music. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Daniel volunteers for the Kenmore Village Improvement Society, a group that meets at the community center and at the VA. He says he's got to go to work two days a week, and he really does. I do. And he helps the other vets. I just love them. Uh, that, that's why I'm going to the vets anyway now, because I, I, I try to do as much for them as I can. I buy, buy them candy and I do things for them. That's really nice. Monday night, community members returned the favor, presenting Daniel with chocolate, just a small token of appreciation for a man who at 96 still does so much to help others. Kenmore Village Improvement Society is honoring you. Yeah. And what do you think of that? I think it's wonderful. I do too. Me too. Daniel's daughter Betty says no matter where he goes, he always asks, what can I do and how can I help? She says he passed along his love for community service to his entire family. And at 96, he gets out of the house every day and keeps very busy. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.